Cook's Bay is like basically the bottleneck of Lake Simcoe. If you're gonna live in Keswick, like having a boat is the way to do it. The summer is so much nicer on the lake. A movie? They're saying, uh, are you guys filming a movie? And I was like, kinda, and they're like, a documentary? Yeah, filming a doc, and they're like, I knew it. What are you filming it about? I was like, moi, just little old me. And then they're like, who the fuck are you, dude? <laughs> When you lose someone, it opens up this whole new world of thinking and emotion and complexity. It's funny that if I look at songs I wrote prior to my dad dying and post my dad dying, the level of emotion that I was willing to express and willing to be vulnerable with in my music was significantly different. And that's because I realized what's the point in not expressing it and not being vulnerable because maybe I'm gonna be gone tomorrow. And at least this would be something that somebody who, you know, maybe was a loved one of mine could look back and be like, that's how Joe felt. You know, we don't have to guess because we know. I think the best thing that death can do for people is make them become empathetic to others and make them, you know, have some level of like strength in their own shoulders and back to carry the weight of other people that maybe don't have the strength to, to do it themselves. So I think death can be transformative in a really positive way if you're willing to take that hard road to make it happen. Right? It's like, it's a couple chords and it's like just, it's as authentic as it could be. Is like I sat here December 9th, 2020. So that was one year almost to the day after my dad died. I, I came in here and I was feeling incredibly sad because obviously it was the first anniversary of his death coming up like the next day. And I sat here and I did that. It's like, talk, yeah, talking about his car. It's like I would sit in his car. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is the car. It's a 1955 Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria, which is a pretty rare car, but we use this in the Walk Me Home video. So this is the first song I put out, first video I ever put out. And like ever since that day, this car has been in and out of life. It's like some days it runs, some days it doesn't. So should we try to start it? We'll, we'll give it a go. Yeah, like we're gonna drain the battery if we do that, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's worth jumping. You know, when my dad like passed away, I said to myself and my family, I'm like, we're never selling this car in a million years. Eventually you get to a point where you're like, do I love this car because I love it? Or am I holding on to it because he loved it? And at a certain point with grief, you realize that you kind of have to allow yourself to move on from things. And I think it's also okay to let go and know that he'd, he'd be okay with that. You know, like he wouldn't want it to sit and rot. When my dad died, I didn't feel at the time that I could just dive right back into playing concerts and like going back on the road because that kind of felt wrong at the time. I think going back to that ground level of teaching at the store and being around people that I've known my whole life, it made me feel really grounded in who I was, even though I had no idea who I was without my dad. It's probably gonna be busy with people steady. Yeah. I'll come bust. Yeah. There's a level of depth that I didn't understand emotionally 
that is so complex about humans and about relationships and about life and it's such a weird thing to equate such a heavy loss and such a sad thing with such growth but the version of me today is like 10 times stronger because of that yeah I've thought about like what I would say to him probably every day like since he died man even if it was a fractional thought of the day I've thought about what I would say and like truthfully like I don't I don't know if there's much depth to what I would say other than like fuck it like thank you and I love you you know like thanks for being my fucking best friend man you know fuck <laughs> like when I think of what a father should be fucking shining example man shining example Having him as my biggest supporter was like the absolute honor of my life. Sometimes when I feel sad, think of his old Ford, how proud he was to have. Listening to old country, cause that's all he had. Sometimes when I feel lonely, I think of my dad.